and the actual bullet here, this is the one that we're going to check for collisions against the enemies and so on. So DB object, yeah, you position it exactly where the sphere cam is. Uh, bullets. Um, you're going to position it initially where the sphere cam is uh, because we're going to check it. Uh, so um, do that, and then um, you want to rotate it. So DB rotate object. And we want to rotate the bullets, um, and then we want to rotate it to the character's object angle. So object angle x character okay uh, and then we do minus 180 here because the way the characters are facing each other you kinda have to do it and then what you do is you go um, uh, what you do then is you go bullet counter counter plus plus because you want it to go use the next bullet afterwards and current ammo uh, minus equals one so what you do is is your um, so you fired um, you increase the bullet count so it checks for the next bullet and on the next time and you reduce one ammo so your ammo goes down by one when you fire current ammo that is obviously not the remaining ammo now else we're going to do else here so if reloading yeah so else if current ammo is smaller or equal to zero and and reloading so this is what's going to make our clicking sound happen guys so if the if the weapon's got no ammo and it's not reloading so the player's going to keep trying to um keep trying to click it or whatever well, we're going to stop him from doing that, and we're just going to give him a a clicking sound to let him know he's out of ammo and you better reload. Uh, so, um, now this our first function when we called uh, mouse click. This is what we use it for to make sure that it doesn't constantly keep going click 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 click, and it does like once, and then um, the player would have to press it, click it again to redo the sound. So, um, if you do your time. Yeah, so what you set this as, you set mouse clicked as true. Um, and what you do is the same as above, so I'm going to be a bit lazy and do this again. Um, so what you got to do is position the click sound, uh, gun click, uh, M4 click. Position the sound of the weapon, uh, DB object position X, Y, and Z at the weapon, and you play the sound, which is M4 click okay and then shooting timer once again timer equals db timer because you gotta reset that so that they can click again in 160 milliseconds um, and then you say so you say if this is so they can do the click sound again if db mouse click equals equals zero and mouse clicked equals equals true then mouse clicked clicked equals false Okay, and that's that. Uh, basically, what we've got so far is we've got the bullet leaving. We don't have the bullet updating, but we have the bullet leaving. So I'm just going to try this out. Maybe I'm sure I've got a few errors. Yeah, there you go. This is what I was telling you about. We didn't clear a few variables, so I'm going to have to go to the top to do them. So um, we're going to start the um, gun-related variables here. Um, uh, just gonna do that and then come back here for a second. So gun related variables, we're gonna have um so we've had the bullets and stuff, we gotta have reloading, so bull reloading equals false. Let's try and find that. Um so here we go, bull reloading equals false, and then you gotta have also um int current ammo ammo will equal um I've got default ammo is thirty two, you know, it's not really a problem. Um so that will be the ammo the, the weapon starts off with int max m four ammo equals 
40 so we're giving it a, might as well say that's 40 as well so we're giving it a limit of 40 rounds uh, per magazine so the weapon can't have any more than that and then we've got int reload timer equals db timer we said that there uh, what else have we done we haven't done bullet counter yeah so int bullet counter equals zero uh, then we have shooting timer I've got shoot timer there so that'll be a typo in shooting timer equals db timer okay that as well and then we got um, what else have we got that I forgot I think that's about it uh, I've made uh, a few typos but that should come up now yeah there you go shooting timer and hopefully this will be enough to get it going what have we got now then so f at the moment we should have the bullets appearing and the sound firing here we go beautiful so they're not actually moving if I move back I'm the one moving not the bullets it looks like the bullets, the bullets are moving but they're not so here are the bullet objects as you can see we don't have them updating by themselves yet but we will but that's that's pretty much it so far um, we can go and just move on so all they're doing is they're leaving through the gun as you can see right there is where it starts and then if I move back oh I'm out of ammo oh there's no reload function yet but we've got to sort that out okay but that's pretty much a full clip going so what we do now um, so we've got that bit done and shoot the gun here now obviously we need to update the bullets update reloading so we're going to do reloading first and then um, we'll do bullets and then we'll get the info coming up on the top left of the corner um, so update reloading here uh, we'll do that and we'll go void update reloading and then open that this one I found a bit annoying to make um, I don't know why because it's just basic maths but uh, I found it a little bit annoying getting everything to work properly but I did in the end so if db key state right equals 19 now 19 equals r so that's our reload button um, and and reloading equals false so if he's not already reloading and remaining ammo is greater than zero so if he doesn't have um, any ammo left then don't bother letting him reload and current ammo is not equal so if he's got a full clip then you also don't want to let him reload because that would just be stupid um, so if these conditions are all as we want them to be we say reloading equals true so we're reloading now so let's make that happen so reload timer equals now this timer normally in real um, in an actual game we'd um, we during the time we do the animation of the gun and the clip and all that thing in the hands but there's no animations on this for reloading and so on so we'll just leave that give the player a little I think three second break um, to wait for the ammo to be re reloaded and then they can play again and fire at the enemies and stuff so and DB timer minus reload timer this is how we check timers against um, actual time great so if three seconds have passed and reloading equals true then um, well first thing we we'll do is we we'll say reloading equals false is reloaded already so it's no problem and now we set these conditions here so if remaining ammo is greater or equal than max m4 ammo um, then remaining remaining ammo minus equals um, max m4 ammo minus current ammo okay so current ammo then equals max m4 so if there's more than enough rounds to fill up the whole magazine then you do that max 4 m4 M4 ammo. Okay, so do that. If there's enough rounds, then put 40 rounds in the gun. But else, if that condition isn't true, then if current ammo, ammo plus remaining 
Um, with greater recoil than max M4 ammo, uh, then what you do here is you do that. So um, remaining ammo. So so the uh, in this else here is if basically the ammo isn't enough to fill the whole clip, then we do something different. So remaining ammo equals current ammo plus remaining ammo so give any ammo you've got there minus max m4 ammo so this will be between these two you gotta do the um the brackets whatever uh so then you do that and then minus max m4 ammo so then you go current ammo ammo equals max m4 ammo all right so that's pretty much that so plus yep and then we just do else and this is our final condition for the reloading else current ammo ammo equals current ammo plus remaining ammo So remaining ammo equals zero. In this case, you've used all the ammo that you've got stashed, and now you declare that zero. So the player doesn't reload again until he's got more ammo. And this is it. That's our reload function done. So now after reloading one, we got to do update bullets. Now this one should be a little bit more complex than that. Update bullets. Okay, so this should be fairly complex function to do. But it's definitely worth it because you need to update the bullets. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a biggie to do. Uh, so for int i equals zero because um, i is more than twenty. This happens because uh, we have twenty bullets that we need to update. Um, well, up to twenty bullets at all times. So we've got to be ready for it. So if this is a check we need to do often, db object exists. So if the bullet exists now. If you create it properly, then it will exist. That's how it is. Bullets i zero. Let's just copy this because I'm going to have to use this a lot. Um, and dB timer minus minus bullet speed timer. Now bullet speed timer is what we use to update the bullets. We could update on every loop. But I find that a bit, you know, I guess that will impact performance a bit more. But the way it's done here, the bullets look pretty smooth when they're moving. So as you've seen, and bullets, I change that to a 2. And the bullet is alive, by the way. So we're saying, if the timer has passed and the bullet is alive, so 2 milliseconds that is, it checks. checks every 2 milliseconds. Um, when the bullet is passed, then, then we do something about it now. And then we go, if DB timer... As long as the bullet has not lived its defined um, lifetime, so this is what we're doing here. So three is smaller than and that's four. Then so a thousand four hundred is the lifetime here, uh, and then we've got the DB timer that we set earlier. Is that so? As long as the bullet is still alive, then we move it. So DB move object. Um, so first object we're moving um, is the actual bullet that we're checking for collisions, right? And then we're moving the second one here. Um, now this is our graphic bullet, so we're moving that forward as well, so we want to make it look like it's moving. And what you do then is you do SC update 